heard of having a bunch of older people in the diner. This diner's for kids. Why is the diner just for kids? Aw, oh, Charity, they're not gonna like the stuff I cook. They like soft and mushy stuff. I can't believe you just said that. You know, I think sometimes there's elderly people prejudice. There's what? Prejudice, you know, when you have the wrong idea about a group of people. Well, well I'm not old people prejudiced. You certainly are, Carl. You automatically assume that because someone is elderly that they want soft and mushy food. That's just not fair, and it's not true. Carl, what you need is to spend more time with some elderly people. I think this senior celebration is going to do you so much good. But Charity... Oh, you... no, no buts about it, Carl. In fact, I have a new job for you. You are now in charge of all the elderly gentlemen that will be here throughout the celebration. You need to make sure that each and every one of them are taken care of and having a fantastic, super de duper de good time. And Carl, you need to remember that you're not that young anymore. But I'm only... Yes, Carl, how many years old are you? Huh, thought you could trick me into telling you my age, did you? Well, no matter how old I get, you'll never be able to get the better of me. Oh, really? You know, in fact... I'm going to declare this senior celebration a day against senior prejudice. Oh boy, here she goes again. And Carl, just look at the cake. Well, that was smart. Nice big writing so they can all see it. Oh, Carl, you really do need this day. Hmm, now how do I make mushy burgers? Carl, ugh. You know, boys and girls, I really think there needs to be a show about seniors just to show people what they're really like. Do you like today's cake? Let's get all our friends, cause it's that time again. It's time to head on down to Miss Charity's Diner. Dusty's gonna come along, and we'll see Farmer Shalom. It's Time to have some fun at Miss Charity's Diner. Take Constable Howie by the hand, Sulin, Josiah, Mr. Dan. Another special day is coming our way at Miss Charity's Diner. Mr. Rainium's got a story for you. Mr. Bookworm's gonna be there too. More things to learn, more things to do at Miss Charity's Diner. Carl's got his apron on. Mr. Marty's singing a song. Everybody come along to Miss Charity's Diner. Come on, let the fun begin. Cause it's the time again. Happy day with all our friends at Miss Charity's Diner. Nothing could be finer than to spend some time at Miss Charity's Diner. I'm so grateful that you're spending this very special day with us. And if there's anything that I can do for you, you just let me know. Don't hesitate. You're welcome. Miss Charity, I'm kind of nervous. Yeah, we don't know these people. What if they don't like what we've prepared? Or what if I can't think of anything to say? Okay, girls, just calm down. These are people just like you. Um, Miss Charity, they're old. Well, they used to be young, just like you. I don't know. Most elderly people just think we're too noisy. They don't like us. That's not true. I mean, maybe some elderly people have trouble with younger people, but there are reasons for that. Yeah, they don't like us. <laughs> no. <laughs> some elderly people have a difficult time hearing, so they wear hearing aids. And when you're loud and shouting around them, it can hurt their ears. And then other elderly people aren't as sure on their feet as they used to be. So if you're running around them, it scares them sometimes. If you were to bump into them and knock them over, their bones don't heal as well as they used to. But I would never hurt someone. Well, not on purpose, but sometimes all your energy causes you to do things you don't really mean. How many times have I had to tell you not to run in the diner? And how many times have I had to continue to remind you not to do it? You're right. I guess we don't stop and try to see the world that they do. And you're right, Miss Charity. It's important to have a day to honor elderly people. Thanks, girls. I want to make this day very special. Just treat them the way you would your own grandmas and grandpas. 
But my grandma and grandpa have to like me. <laughs> These people are going to love you. And best of all, they have so much to tell us. Like what? Well, all about what things were like when they were young. You know, you're never too old to want someone to listen. And a lot of elderly people just want someone to give them their time. Words and gifts aren't the only way to show someone you care. What do you mean? How else can we show people love? Well, by what we're doing today. We're giving our time. And we have so much to learn from the elderly. And most importantly, we're learning to share ourselves. Well, here it goes. I hope they like our cookies. Just smile and be yourself. They won't even care what your cookies taste like, Natasha. Out there. Well, that's old Blue. I went to see Cletus today. You know, he wasn't feeling so good, so I told him we'd take Blue for a couple of days. Oh, that farmer Cletus? He ain't no fun to visit. Why waste your time? Dusty, that's not a very nice thing to say. Come on, Cletus is a great old guy. Oh, farmer, if he isn't talking about way back when, in his younger days, or how he was had such a large family, or how his hearing ain't so good, or how farming was done way differently back uh, then. Or... Dusty, you know, older people just don't remember sometimes things that they're saying. Oh, is that why he tells the same story over and over and over? That's enough, Dusty. Stop it. Oh, sorry. You know, you know, Cletus, if you'd, if you'd come for a visit once in a while, you might actually hear some good stories. You might learn something. He's a pretty smart fella. Yeah, you know, like, like, what's he got to say that's smart? Well, let's see. I mean, uh, he's got some really interesting farming stories. He's been a farmer for 40, 50 years. Uh, he could tell you about his, his mama, how, how, how she homeschooled him. He's got 14 brothers and sisters. He's got tons of stories about his family. Well, he's even got stories about Old Blue. Oh, yeah. Old Blue, he's probably old as him. And he's got so many uh, exciting stories. How come I've never heard of him? Well, you don't come for a visit with me, that's why. I'm the only company Cletus gets. It's got to get lonely in that house, Dusty. It's all by himself. Oh, gee, Farmer, now I feel bad. You know what else, Dusty? Old Blue, in his younger days, he used to train dogs. He'd teach them how to chase after cattle. He'd teach them how to herd them up and put them in the barn. Uh, he'd teach them lots of things. I mean, he even taught you a couple things when you were a little pup. Really? Yes, really. I mean, sometimes we forget that with the elderly, we need to show them patience and, and understanding and, and, and show them respect. I mean, they, they've lived a lot longer than we have, Dusty. Oh, wow, Farmer. Life really is precious. Well, all life is precious and valuable to God, Dusty. And God commands us that we should honor and respect older people. Oh, I think I'm going to go say hey to old Blue. I'll bet he likes some company. Oh. You know, you're right, Dusty. You know, that's a good idea. And you know what? You got to remember that one day you're going to be that old dog. And, and if you treat them kindly now, well, when you get older, it's going to come right back at you. Hey, farmer. What? Let's turn on the tap and get some water for him. Well, that's a great idea. Maybe we should get him a pillow. A pillow? What's a pillow? Something he can lay down on, like for Oh, a pillow. Oh, well, yeah. I don't know if he'd want a pillow out in the field. Why don't you get him one of your doggy treats? Why don't we, why don't we why get him did, a blanket yeah, or something why, you can lay Why don't you on? get him one of your doggy treats? Maybe the green ones, the ones you taste like broccoli. Hi, my name is Abby. I've come down here to Miss Charity's Diner to tell you about Miss Charity's Kids Club website. When you remember, it's really awesome. You can email any of the characters like Miss Charity, Mr. Stan, and even Josiah and Sule.
When you go to the website, you will see all of Miss Charity Danner's episodes for life. You could even get a birthday card from Miss Charity when it's your birthday. There are a whole sorts of neat things to do at Miss Charity Danner's Kids Club website, and all you have to do is go to www.facebook.com and make sure it's okay with your mom or dad and tell them Abby sent you. Remember the website is www.facefail.com. Miss Charity, this day was so mm -hmm. great. They were so funny. I can't believe Miss Mills actually caught bats. I know. What about Mrs. Torcia? She worked hard for her family. And Mr. Mills' stories about when he worked on that dairy farm were so funny. You know, they weren't really that different from us, were they? I suppose not. I mean, they have hopes and dreams just like you and I. They went through some hard times, though. They sure did. And life isn't always easy or fair. Yeah. Miss Mills said she wouldn't have gotten through the hard times if she hadn't always known that Jesus was always there. Miss hmm. Charity, how come we don't hear what it was like? Because we don't listen. Well, I figure, since I'm going to get old, a long, long time away, <laughs> I should start sowing good seeds so when I'm old, I will want people to listen to me. Good. You mean how I treat older people now, maybe how I'll be treated when I'm old? Well, the Bible does say that we will reap what we sow. I think I'm going to start to work at the senior citizens' home on Saturday mornings. I figure I can learn a whole lot by being with them. That's great. Can I volunteer too, Natasha? I don't see why not. Miss Bondi said that they love the company. She said that we keep them young. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Charity, I think you should do this more than just once a year. You know, I think this could become a regular thing here in the diner. Great! <laughs> Now, what am I going to do? Oh, I know what I can do. I'm going to put these What are you going to do, Miss Geranium? I'm going to put a blue card in each of these two pots. And then I'm going to put two pink cards in these two pots. Why are you going to do that? Well, because LaVon wants the two blue for her grandfathers and the two pinks will be for her grandmother. Why is LaVon giving her grandparents flowers? Well, she has decided that she's going to have an I love you day. And some of the people that she wants to know she, that she loves them are her grandparents. Wow, what a great idea. Mm-hmm. Well, what's the matter, Mr. Bookworm? Well, I don't have any grandparents to give flowers to. Well, neither did Caitlin. And she didn't let that stop her. What do you mean, Mr. Adium? Well, Caitlin didn't have any grandparents either, so she adopted some. Caitlin adopted grandparents? Mm-hmm. How in the world would you do that? Well, would you like me to tell you about that? Well, I certainly would. Mr. B, would you like to hear that story? Yeah. And girls and boys at home, would you like to hear the story too? Okay. Are they here yet? Are they here yet? Chucky said as he came racing down the stairs. No, they're not here yet, said Gord. But they should be here pretty soon. Do I detect a couple of boys who are anxious to see their grandparents? Asked Chucky and Gordy's mom. We are so excited, said Chucky. We're excited enough to have our cake and eat it too. And he scooped his finger in the icing bowl and took a big lick of icing. Mmm, good stuff, Mom. Well, Gordy stuck his finger in the icing bowl and took a big swip, and he took a lick. Mmm, very good, said Gordy. Well, I'm making spice cake for your grandma and grandpa because it's their favorite, said their mother. Oh, Grandma and Grandpa are so much fun. We're so excited about them coming to visit, Chucky and Gordy said. And Gramps is so hilarious with all of the jokes that they tell. Oh, do you remember the joke he told us the last time he was here? Chucky said, remember how it went? Why did the man put his new car in the stove? 
I don't know, said their mother. Why did the man put his new car in the stove? Because, Chucky and Gordy said together, he wanted a hot rod. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that sounds like one of your grandfather's jokes, their mother said. Wait, I think I just heard a knock on the door. Why don't you guys go and see if it's them? Well, Chucky ran to the door and he opened it up and there was Caitlin. Hey, Kate, come on in, said Chucky. We thought maybe you are Grandma and Grandpa. They're coming to visit today and they are so much fun. Oh, my gramps is so hilarious when he starts telling jokes. Oh, really, said Caitlin. Well, that's, that's great. Well, what are you doing in here? Mmm, it smells like spice cake. It is, said Chucky and Gordy's mom. It's Chucky and Gordy's grandma and grandpa's favorite. I think I smell vanilla frosting, too. Yes, you do. And actually, Caitlin, I've made two extra batches of cupcakes, so why don't you come on in, help me ice them, and help me eat them. Wow, that sounds like a great idea, said Caitlin as she took her finger and swirled it around in the icing bowl and took a great big lick. It's a tough job, said Chucky, but somebody's got to do it. And we're just the ones to do it too, aren't we, Caitlin, said Gordy. We sure are, said Caitlin. This is going to be so much fun. Oh, and you can't imagine when our grandma and grandpa get here. They are so hilarious. My grandpa's going to probably tell jokes. You're going to love them, Caitlin. Yeah. I don't have grandparents, Caitlin said. You don't have any grandparents, Gordy asked her. No. You know, Chucky and Gordy's mom said, Caitlin's grandparents have all passed away. I didn't know that, said Gordy. I'm really sorry. Hey, I have a good idea. You can borrow ours. Could I really ask Caitlin? That would be so great. Wait a minute, said Chucky and Gordy's mom. I have an idea too. Why don't you take some of these cupcakes down to the nursing home and give them out to the people that are there? I'm sure they would love them. That is such a great idea, said Gordy. I could do that, said Caitlin. That would be really cool. You know what, Kate, Chucky said, you're going to end up with so many grandparents, you aren't going to know what to do with them all. Oh, yes, I will, said Caitlin. I'm going to love each and every one of them. Oh, that's so sweet, said Chucky and Gordy's mom. And you know what, Caitlin, that sounds just like you, too. <laughs> do you know, I think I hear your grandma and grandpa. My darling, said Grandma as she came into the house. Knock, knock, said Grandpa. Who's there, said Chucky and Gordy. Annie. Annie who, the three children said together. Anyone here love Jesus, Grandpa grinned. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you just love it when the story has a really happy ending, Mr. Anium? Oh, I do. Do you know every story can have a happy ending? It can? How? Oh. Mm -hmm. Every story can have a happy ending if it has Jesus in it. You know, you're right, Miss Geranium. Every story can have a happy ending if you've got Jesus in your heart. You are so right, Mr. Bookworm. Hey, I've got an idea. What? Let's give our own story a happy ending today. What do you mean, our own story? Well, let's you and I bake our own cupcakes. <gasps> And we'll take them to the local nursing home, too. Mr. Bookworm, that is an incredible idea. Good for you. And they lived happily ever after. Hello, my name is Tom Collins, producer of Faithville and Miss Charity's Diner. We're hearing from you that you're learning and enjoying our programs, and that's wonderful. You can learn more about us at our website. We're a worldwide nonprofit media ministry that depends upon your prayers and support. We need your donations to continue our good work, and your donation is tax deductible. You can go online to make your donation on our website at faithville.com now. Or you can mail your check payable to Faithville, Box 7, Maidstone, Ontario, Canada, N. 0R1K0 or box 441-665 Detroit, Michigan, USA 48244. 
or you can call to donate by credit card to Faithville at 1-888-450-1111. Thank you for helping Faithville and Miss Charity's Diner bring the good news of Jesus to children in your community and around the world. Mine still feels young, but my body, oh, some days it does not feel so young. Oh, I know what you mean. You know, I'm having these <laughs> senior moments, and I'm not even a senior yet. <laughs> well, hey, Sue Lynn. Hey, Sue Lynn. Hi. Hey, Miss Geranium. How come you're not in the flower shop? Well, I was so efficient yesterday, I finished all my orders. Well, that and the new girl I hired is incredible. You hired someone? Mm hmm I sure did. Hmm. Oh. You know, the flower shop does get busy from time to time. And, well, I'm not getting any younger, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I tell you, there are some days I think I could use a helper. Up and down the stairs of my truck, up and down the stairs of the store, up and down the stairs of the storage room in those stores. <laughs> I feel like a jack-in-the-box. You know, I never realized how hard my grandmother and mother had it. You know... We're supposed to be approaching the golden years. I don't think they're too golden. My, my back hurts, you, my feet ache. Can't sleep at night, have to make lists so you don't forget things. And have you noticed you're feeling a little crabbier lately? Oh, brother, you two are pathetic. Pardon, Pardon me? me? <laughs> Sue Lynn, that was, that was rude. Well, I'm just telling you what my Nana would say. Your Nana would say that we're pathetic. Yes, she would. She says it's people like you two who give elderly people a bad name. And how did we give elderly people a bad name? Well, you make them sound like they're too old to do anything good anymore. My Nana goes bowling twice a week. And she flies every summer to visit her relatives up north. And she walks forever and ever and ever. And she still polishes her kitchen floor with hard wax stuff and shines them by sliding across the floor in my grandpa's wool socks. And she volunteers at the senior center. And her and my grandpa belong to a dance group at the senior center. Okay, okay, I get the idea. Your Nana is quite a remarkable woman, isn't she? And you know what? I never hear my Nana and Grandpa complain about how achy they are or talk all the time about things that they can't do. And you know what? They say they're thankful to God for all the things that they can do. I feel really bad now. Well, you should. And you want to know something else? My grandpa's best friend has to use a wheelchair sometimes just to get around because his legs get weak. So my grandpa sneaks a wheelchair at the senior home where he lives and they have wheelchair races. My grandpa says he doesn't want to hang around with any old fogies who just want to complain all the time. And you guys aren't as old as Nana and Grandpa, but you sure sound older. Hmm. You know, Celine, you're right. We really are pathetic. And I should know better. I mean, I have elderly people into the shop all the time. I know how active and wonderful they are. I mean, some of them are busier now than they've ever been. I don't want to be pathetic. Neither do I. In fact, I want to age gracefully. I want to be like your Nana and Grandpa, Sue Lynn. Wow. I guess I have some attitude adjustments to make. Well, you two better straighten out, because from where I'm sitting, you two are running out of time. <laughs> Wasn't it a beautiful day today? So, girls, and LJ, what ideas have you come up with to show kindness to the elderly? Kayla? Well, I know I can walk Miss Edwards' dog. Why would you walk her dog? You know she can walk faster than us kids. Because I like her dog. <laughs> you know, walking someone's dog is a way of showing kindness, even if you like the person's dog. How about you, LJ? What ideas have you come up with? To play ball down the street. Uh, playing ball down the street? You'll have to explain that to me, how that's showing kindness to someone. Because last time I played ball, I hit Miss Nate on the window, and she kind of suggested that I play ball down the street. Oh, if that's the case, playing ball down the street is a way of showing kindness. I'm 
going to pay more attention to when my grandmother tells stories about when she was a little girl. She's got all kinds of stories. She just takes too long to tell one. You know, I remember my grandmother, and I remember her telling me stories when I was just about your ages. And I remember wanting her to hurry up and get to the good parts faster. But now that my grandmother is with the Lord, I wish I could sit next to her and hear some of them old stories again. Will we tell long stories when we get old, too? You know, I, I think we will. Do you tell long stories now that you're old? I'm not old. Well, you're not really young. You're just sort of old. We'll listen to your long stories if you want. Yeah, we know it's important to be kind to the elderly. <laughs> I, I, I'm not old. They say the mind is first to go. Well, children, old Constable Howie would like to tell you children how proud I am of the thought that you've given to the importance of being kind to the elderly. But I know there's some ways that you haven't thought of yet. Like what? Well, how about holding the door open or giving up your seat on the bus or being very, very careful when riding your bike or using your skateboard or rollerblades. Or you could mow their lawn or weed someone's garden or even take their garbage out to the road then bring the pails back. There's so many ways you could show kindness to the elderly. I'll cut your grass. I'll take his garbage pails out to the road. Okay, I'll eat his garden. I, I'm not old. I'm really not old. I really am not old. I'm not old. I still remember being able to ride my bicycle on track. I'm not old. I can still be old. I I am really, really, really not old. Wasn't today a wonderful day? Well, I thought at first it was going to be a terrible day, but you're right, Miss Charity. Elderly people are a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. See, you did all that worrying for nothing. Yeah, I sure was being silly. I guess I thought elderly people were cranky. Well, some old people are, but I know a lot of younger people and middle-aged people who are cranky, too. Well, I think it'll be fun getting older, Miss Charity, especially since I know I won't get cranky. Oh, okay, you're funny, Carl. <laughs> so I guess we'll get old together. Yeah, I, I guess we will. Miss Charity, how old is old? You know, I don't really know. But I know you can be old in age and still young at heart. I want to be young at heart no matter how old I get. Hmm. Can I still get a senior discount if I'm old but young at heart? <laughs> yes, Carl. You can still get your senior's discount. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs>